Hey, this is Bradley with Blue Cord, and I have my first warranty item for my 4520N here in this box that arrived by UPS this morning. Let's go in the shop, and I'll show you what it is. Now, I'm going to show you what we're going to do this morning. So what is this thing? What does it do? And why am I replacing it? Now to get a better look at this thing, we're going to have to take the side panel off, then we can get started. Now that we have the side panel off, we can take a look at this heat shield that protects the starter from the very hot exhaust manifold. Okay, so this just got a little more complicated. When I had the dealer send me this part, they got me the bracket only without fastening hardware. And the problem is one of the fastening bolts is missing. I'm telling you what. Well, it's not an 11 30 seconds. Maybe it's a 3 8 But I don't think the clearance hole's enough to get in there. Maybe it's metric? <sighs> Lord help me. Looks like it's gonna be the infamous 10 millimeter. Now the question is, can I actually get a ratchet in there? That's a negative. You get to that point where you gotta take the gloves off, man. The gloves are off. Now that I got the bolt loose, I may be able to pass this 10 millimeter socket up through the bottom through the hole. There's no room for a ratchet in there. You watch, I'm gonna drop this thing. This is a tough one to get to, and I dropped my socket. Luckily, I got one of these extensions with a magnet, even as a gripper on the end, so this is gonna be super handy. Well, we're going. It's going. Now, according to the diagram, these are 10 millimeters long. There's the old one. Here are the new ones. So now that I have this heat shield removed, you can actually see where it failed. There's a crack right here. Anytime you got a piece of metal and it gets super, super hot, and then it cools off over and over and over again, it takes a special alloy to take that kind of heat. And well, this one failed. According to the dealer, this was still not in the parts inventory. For those who are wondering, this heat shield is part number KN, as in Kilo November, dash 6064. These two are actually different. I'm looking over them very closely. They do have some minor differences. The first one I saw is that the clearance holes are larger diameters, so you can actually get a socket in there. What do you know? A nice improvement. Not the easiest hardware to get to, but with a little bit of effort, <coughs> Sorry, I seem to have something stuck in my you can absolutely get that done. Hopefully this one will last a little while. Hope you enjoyed seeing some aspects of the three-cylinder fuel-injected Kubota engine for the Ventrac 4520N. We have a lot of other maintenance and tutorial videos on this channel. Use the search function and chances are I've got the video that you're looking for. Hope you all enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.